Hello folks, welcome to the Chess Channel. Today's focus is going to be on basic end games for beginners. Now I know a lot of you are already know uh, the moves of the game and you know you like to study the opening. But here we got to realize that just most chess games, in fact almost all chess games, uh, sometimes when you're your material ahead you got to go down to the final uh, phase of the game which is the end game. Now I know that a lot of you are just learning the game and then there are others of you which you've played a few games already. But the first thing that we're gonna learn today is chess notation. That means, you know, when I say e4 or when I say knight f3, what does that really mean? And here we're going to look at the chessboard and realize that we got a, b, c, d, e. We've got letters running this way. And we've got numbers all the way up to 8 running this way. So this will give you a better idea about what <clears throat> uh, right now that this king is on E3 and this king is on E5. See each square has its own number and letter. You know, so this is always C4. This is always C7, and this is always the square A1. So when I say rook A1, it means my rook is moving to the square A1. Okay, so let's look at some basic end games here. This is king versus king, and obviously this is going to be a draw, because you cannot checkmate with the king alone. But let's now add the queen. Now when you're a queen ahead, and this is all you have left, you can win. And the way that you win is you have to drive the king backwards or to the side or to the corner. See, if the king is allowed to just stay in the middle of the board, you're never going to checkmate. So... If I want to checkmate, I first check and force the king backwards. And then, now a lot of you, I notice, you keep checking. But see, if I keep checking, it's just going to bring the king back to the middle and we haven't made progress. So when you check, the idea is to drive the king backwards. And now, we kind of have the king in a box. In other words, it can only go in this box. And the way that we drive the king into a smaller and smaller box is by using our own king. Now this king, it doesn't want to go backwards, so it kind of goes to the side. And now what we do is we make the box even smaller for the king. So now the king has to go to the side, but notice that this little box is getting smaller and smaller. So now I go back over here with the king, and now the king must go backwards into the corner where it's going to meet its final resting place. Notice how I keep driving the king into the corner. And now that I have the king cornered, I have to advance. Now, one caution I must bring to a lot of you guys, the queen alone will not get the job done. You gotta uh, use the queen and the king to checkmate. Now, this is the most challenging move 
because you got to be careful. Let's say I come up here. Woo! The, now this king has no legal moves anymore. Stalemate. You blew it. So what should we do? Okay. Now we've got to be a little bit careful. The best thing to do in such a position is to cut the king off so that it's now stuck on the back rank. So the king comes here. This is the best move. We try to put up resistance. And now we really have to get the king cornered. And now this is the only legal move for black, and now we're in a position to checkmate now. You can checkmate here, you can checkmate here, you can checkmate here, you can checkmate here. So there are like four different ways to checkmate. Notice the king cannot go here because queen captures. King cannot go here, queen captures. King cannot go here. King cannot go here, illegal, and it's checkmate, okay? So, to summarize, when you have the queen and the king, drive the king to the side of the board. And then, once it's there, start bringing up the king to finish the job off. So that's how you mate with the queen. Now let's say let's say we have a position where we have two rooks on the board. Okay. Now this is actually a bit of overkill. You don't need two rooks. But let's kind of um, examine how we would do that. First thing is you gotta drive the king backwards. When the king is in the middle, it feels safe. Okay. Now when the king goes backwards, you use the other rook, check, and you keep driving the king backwards. See? And then once the king is driven backwards, mating with two rooks is actually pretty easy because you just keep driving the king up, 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 until its final uh, resting place. And this, as we shall see, is checkmate. The king cannot go here because the rook would capture. King cannot go here. Again, the rook would capture. King cannot go here. King goes here. This rook would capture. And so this is checkmate. Now, I know that a lot of you will have no difficulty in checkmating with two rooks. But what happens when you have one rook? When you have one rook, this is not easy for most beginners. One rook. But one rook is enough to win with. If I have a knight alone, or if I have a bishop alone, it's not going to win if that is all you have. So that's why the rook is a valuable piece because it has big power in the end game. And this should be enough to checkmate. But here, again, you know, this is not that easy because you have to drive the king back. Okay, now the king. It doesn't want to go back. It wants, it wants to kind of remain in the center. So what you do is you keep narrowing. Notice that every time I do this, this little box that I've created, it's getting smaller. So king goes here. Now we still haven't really, uh, really truly uh, cornered the king yet. But what I might do is uh, try to finesse. Go back here. King goes here. And now this is my point. The king has to give ground, either go backwards or go to the side. 
And now this gives me the opportunity to narrow, to start driving the king back. Now my first point is, let's say you decide to go over here. Okay, now I have a very clever way to checkmate quickly here. And I simply move the rook here. And now, king cannot go here, king cannot go here, king cannot go here, king cannot go here. In fact, there's only one legal move. King must go here, and now I have you, I have black exactly where I want you. Bing! Checkmate! King cannot go here, king cannot go here. King cannot go here. And this is kind of how you mate with the rook. You have to drive the king to the side of the board. This is how you checkmate with a lone rook. So it takes practice. You know, it's not going to come, you know, in just one hour. You know, you got to just practice, practice, practice. You know, when I was a young young kid of 13, this is how I, I was practicing at home. You know, I wasn't, a, you know, I wasn't starting out a master. You have to develop a little bit of knowledge. Chess is a game of knowledge. It's about accumulating a lot of knowledge. The last thing we're going to look at today is what happens when you have uh, one pawn left. And let's say that the pawn is queening on this square. My question for you guys, can white win here? Okay, let's say uh, it's white to move, okay? White moves over here. Now the key to defending this particular position is to stay in front of the pawn. Now if you start going here, boom, now you're busted because he's going to keep moving to the side and you're not going to be able to stop the pawn because you haven't gotten in front of the pawn. The key in a lot of these positions is to stay, stay on top of that queening square. Don't, don't start, you know, you know, going to the side like that. You got, you got to stay in back like this. By staying in front of the pawn, black is going to successfully defend. Okay? So these moves are pretty much forced. And now black simply must be very careful how he plays it. Um, going back is good. Okay, and now white's going to come forward. The key is to always stay in front of the pawn and you're going to successfully defend this. Now is a critical position. Black must be careful. Um, if you go to any of these squares, the game is over. And I'll tell you why. Let's say you go here, okay? And white goes here. And then you don't want to go over here because the F7 Pawn pushes f7 and it's over. So this is the only move. And now f7, okay, this is your only move. Now you're busted because now the pawn is going to come in here and queen. See, this is over for black, okay? So in this position, this is our this is kind of our starting position. The key is to go straight back. You go straight back, and now it doesn't matter whether the king goes here or the king goes here. Uh, this is your best move, f7 check, and now king here, and now you're safe because the only move white really has is this one, and it's stalemate because the king cannot, cannot move. Black's king cannot move. This is a draw. So what we're going to basically learn is that if this is our starting point, 
And here it doesn't matter whose move it is. It's a draw. Now we start to get into trouble when our king cannot get, you know, in front of the pawn. If you can't stop this pawn, it's over basically. You know. Anyway, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.